Hello my fellow Uyen and welcome to our new series Top Uya Games of 2013. Let's kick off this new format with our top 5 role playing games of 2013 and now let's roll. The RPG category is filled with great games and it was probably the hardest genre to pick our top 5 for. So let's start with our number 5, Bit Dungeon by Kinto Games. Bit Dungeon has its very own style and keeps you engaged for a very long time. Every room you enter holds a new surprise for you and you never know what to expect. Usually, you encounter the same style of monsters through the entire game, but in Bit Dungeon there's such a huge variety with various mini bosses and more that it's hard to keep track of them all. Additionally, the combat style is completely different from the usual round based fights in that it rewards skill and quickness. All in all, Bit Dungeon is a game that I always come back to because of its high long term fun level. Number 4 goes to Pocket RPG by Tasty Poison Games. Compared to the other games, Pocket RPG can be finished within 15 minutes or less, but this is actually why it's so great. The focus of Pocket RPG is on short, quick bursts of fun that can be repeated numerous of times since the levels change every time. There's also this kind of I need to finish this game with 100% feeling because you always miss that one little blob that was hiding from you. This feeling is even amplified by the short time it needs to finish one round. Whenever you miss that one secret you immediately start another round because what's another 15 minutes compared to the feeling of achieving 100% right? At number 3 we have the awesome Reaper by Hexage. The tale of a pale swordsman grabbed our hearts as soon as we started playing it for the first time. The graphics are unbelievable and combined with the very unique story made one of our best gaming experiences in 2013. I actually believe Reaper had the best story of all RPGs this year. The only reason why Reaper isn't ranking higher is because the fighting parts in between the story segments can be repetitive after you've played it for some time. Apart from that, Reaper should be played by anyone who likes roleplay games and I promise you, you will have a great time. We're getting close to the top with our number 2, Raveborn by Alpha Dog Games. Raveborn has a total package, fantastic modern graphics, great voice acting in combination with a great story and the controls are just ultra intuitive. Added on top we have the usual hunt and gather mechanisms that can't be missing from any RPG. However, I especially enjoyed that you needed to find gems in order to improve your weapons and armor instead of the random loot. The AI in Raveborn was also extremely smart and you couldn't always button mesh your way to success. I was stuck at several points in this game because my strategy to encounter a boss monster was just flawed and I had to adjust my approach. That is a sign for a great game of course and so Raveborn is a must play if you haven't already done so. And now, here's our OUYA RPG of the year 2013. Order and Chaos Online by Gameloft. Some of you might have seen Order and Chaos on your smartphone and to be honest, when Order and Chaos was first released I wasn't expecting to be enjoying playing it for such an extended amount of time. You can clearly see that Order and Chaos was heavily inspired by World of Warcraft, which, as all of you know, was a great success. However, Order and Chaos isn't just a clone. Gameloft has ported the World of Warcraft gameplay to a new universe and made a few adjustments to make it enjoyable on the Ouya. Not in my wildest dreams would I have thought that I would enjoy playing a MMORPG on a gamepad, but it just works. I think there are very few games that I have played more often than Order and Chaos and because of that, Order and Chaos had to be our number one role playing game of the year 2013. So that was our top RPG list for 2013. What was your favorite RPG on the OUYA this year? If you want to see the top games in other categories, come back to our channel or see if they are already online. You could also just subscribe to our channel and in any case, see you next time. Bye!